I, uh, I've tried to build a linear transponder with HackRF and the STR dongle using GNU radio. So basically, here's my HackRF going into my laptop, and here's my RTL dongle with its little antenna. And what I've done is basically uh, put together this uh, little uh, block and uh, added on the left hand side you could see yes RTL uh, source a low pass filter which is about 100 kilohertz so this could possibly be 100 kilohertz linear transponder now I'll show you how it works automatic gain control and then I've got a power squelch threshold unit and then um, I'm also monitoring the input here with an FFT and I'll just move this away so you can see I'm then sending the output uh, of the squelch output to Osmo Sync and I'm also monitoring the output of a low pass filter of the RTL dongle input and here I've set the frequency 145-300 as an input and here I've set the frequency as 438.1 uh, megahertz as an output on the um, like RF. I've added a couple of sliders uh, here at the top as you can see and basically is to in the beginning to play around with the squelch level, the TX frequency, the squelch level which I adjusted there, uh, RX frequency, the uh, RTL RF gain, RTL RF gain here as well, um, IF gain basically that's on the like RF and um, uh, this level is also like RF, I've put it at maximum for the moment and here's my graph monitoring the RTL input so basically what you're seeing here is about basically 100 kilohertz input which doesn't get transmitted at the moment because there's no uh, the the um, squelch threshold there let me just move the cursor away the squelch threshold there is not high enough but if I go into my little um, bow thing here and it's this is on the receiving side 438 100 as you can see there and I'll put that one down and I'll use the other one and this one is set on 145 300 so I'll do a quick test and then you can see the actual scope signal and you should be able to hear it in the background uh, zero six zero, IC zero, testing zero, one two three, three. Zulu Romeo zero, six zero, alpha zero, India Charlie, Charlie testing one two, one two three, three. Uh, you saw uh, the scope speaking in there and, and it's uh, working uh, well, so what I could do to sort of prove that it's uh, linear, I don't have a proper uh, SSB on uh, a portable, but I can up the frequency on the transmitting side and we can uh, should see it uh, changing on the other side as well. So I'm just going to go two channels up and then we should be able to still transmit and then I'll move the VHF down as well. So here's the uh, transmitter. And I'll go maybe two channels up and I'll transmit 06 IC. Now you see you can't hear it, but you could see the frequency is moved up. So now in theory, if we I'm not sure if it's linear or non-linear, uh, we should move the frequency of the receiver up or down and should be able to hear it. I'm gonna just put that down. Let's take this one up. Maybe of them. I went up, let's see if that works. 0, 06 IC testing 1, 2, 3. No, that didn't work. 0, 06 IC testing 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go up a bit more. Zero six 06 IC testing 1, 2, 3. So now you can start hearing it. I'm not sure how far I must go up. Maybe I'm past already a bit. Let's see. Uh, gone up a bit more. Zero six IC testing one two three. Okay, now that looks like um, I've gone too far. Okay, let's go one down. Zero six IC testing one two three. No. Some more down. Zero six IC testing one two three. 
so it's a little, not exactly on frequency I'll go one down maybe we're lucky 06 IC testing one two three so they have proven that it's basically a linear tra a transponder and uh, so we can see by uh, changing the input frequency up and down uh, the output is changing up and down at about 100 kilohertz bandwidth and I wish I had an SSB transceiver but hopefully we'll, I'll have a chance to take uh, my uh, rig out of the vehicle and then we can test the SSB as well. I hope this is uh, an informative video. Thanks, bye.